It's the end of the year and Roundup Week continues over here at Lifting Pins and Needles. Today we're going to go over the tops I made in 2023, Lost to See. Stay with me for this fashion movie. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsandNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And if you follow along, you know that I do present to you about 8 to 10 videos a month. In the majority of them, there's a garment presented with a tutorial and something that's finished that I really love and that I'm proud to wear. So in the whole year, I've made 132 garments, 2023 sewing. In the previous episode, you would have seen the toppers. There were 37 of them. And in this episode, we're gonna see the tops. This one, I would say, has been the most prolific one out of all the categories I've made. 44 tops, that is quite a lot. And you know, you'll see different types, woven and knit, sleeveless, short sleeves, long sleeve, all different styles, they're all very different. Again, I'm doing some pattern repeats because I just can't help myself. And you'll see all the information about the pattern on the screen, the liner, the pattern company. And also because we're seeing tops, we're gonna to see what bottoms I'm pairing it with to create the styling section. So it's all very well outlined for you. Down in the description box, you'll see the numbers that you see on the screen that will correspond to the pattern name as well. If that's easier for you to jot down what you like. This is all inspiration for you. I know it's quite long. It's like a fashion movie again. We do a lot of sewing here and I hope you enjoy the content. As a reminder, the Pattern Emporium site-wide sale is still happening through the 1st of January. You will see quite a lot of Pattern Emporium tops in the roundup today. Site-wide sale 30% off only happens once a year. That's happening right now, so don't miss out. I'll leave you my link for my Pattern Emporium playlist as well. Full of tutorials, everything is really practical for you to be able to create these garments yourself as well. So let's hop into all the tops. This is my most recent Forte top. This is View B and I chose a really vibrant print. It is an athletic knit and I really love the feel of it. It's lightweight and you can see that this has asymmetric front. Here you can see it on over some black jeans. I could easily wear this with leggings and sneakers to work out as well. With View B and D you get a V neckline with a center front seam and a bodice that has a diagonal seam. The back is simple and then you have this asymmetric front skirt. And I really love how this front drapes. I think it's really cute and would look great on a lot of people. I really love mine. I think it's a pretty design and the best thing is that it's super comfy to wear. I didn't make any length modifications to the skirt piece but I have lengthened my bodice so that the seam would hit right under my bust. Mine is sleeveless, it's not official from the pattern but the armhole was perfect, all I did was add binding there. For the V neckline I added a V neckband and I think that looks really nice and I'm just gonna enjoy this top so much, it's gonna go a long way. That's what I love about sewing with athletic knits, I think that type of fabric is just super versatile and so is this style. It's my favorite from the Forte. This is my one shoulder tank from Pattern Emporium. This is the flared option and I lengthened it by three inches just because I'm a little taller. I've got it paired with my sporty lounge skirt and also my getaway shorts. They're sort of in the same color. I do have an extra strap there on one of the sides. You'll see the fabric up close. I love how drapey this fabric is, which I think is essential to make the flared version without the hem band. You can see that the fabric has some texture. It's a neat it's embroidered, it looks like a woven broderie and glaze, but it's not. It's a neat and it's super comfortable and I really love this type of fabric because it's got that beautiful texture. I love this flared silhouette, it's just comfy, easy to wear and I love this neckline so much. I chose to put the strap there because I just don't have a good strapless bra so this allows me to wear this style with my regular bra underneath and that's awesome. Of course you can also leave the strap off and just wear it completely off the shoulder. I really love the wide binding technique which is one of the options. You can also sew bands instead if you want to but I really love this technique and I love the coverage. I feel pretty well covered. I love the asymmetry here. I think it's a really edgy look and I made it in black so it can go over a lot of my garments. I know I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. It is the same one shoulder tank in black but this time with my rayon vacation vibes palazzo pants woven super flowy pants this is a great outfit for summer super fresh and I think the silhouette of this one even though it's flared it still works well with a wide leg pant like this this is my wearable muslin it's a rayon spandex I will wear this only around the house because I had very little fabric and it's very short so I'm not comfortable wearing something so short outside 
but it'll be great for around the house, really comfortable and it was a good practice run to see the fit. This is my third Chloe top from Sinclair Patterns. I had to make a black one. This is also a size 16 tall file. This one's a little longer than the shortest length on the pattern piece and it's also sleeveless. Up closer you'll see that I have a textured knit. Looks like embroidery and glaze but it's not a woven. This is a knit and it's a really drapey fabric. Really happy with the ease and the length of this one and I think this top is going to be a basic. The drape is amazing. I just love it so much. It's so pretty and it's got the right height. It doesn't drape low or high. It's just just right. I've used the same binding technique I used with my other sleeveless version. Very neat. I didn't need to top stitch the integrated facing on the front. It just drapes and folds inside on its own. At least for my versions there was no need to sew that down and I'm happy I didn't need to do that. I love sewing a black top. I don't mind sewing many of them but they're always different different styles. Black is really easy to wear and it just goes with everything. It's just really easy to throw on over a colorful skirt like this one. This is my second Chloe top from Sinclair size 16. This is the shortest length available and this version is sleeveless and I made it in a rib knit. I've got it paired with one of my sky skirts also from Sinclair patterns. I really love this color and this fabric is so soft. You can see this one is at the mid hip. It's the shortest length available and I think it's a nice length. I made it this short because that's the fabric I had available. Up here you can see the neckline. I think the pleats and the drape feature looks really nice and the fabric was perfect. I was happy to use rib knit because there is spandex in here and the fabric does have recovery. You can see how beautiful the pleats are. It's so easy to sew. <laughs> this is a sleeveless version. I think the cover in the armhole is really good. I've put binding there and I stitched it in the ditch so that you can't see that seam. I think it looks really neat and yeah I love this top so much. Uh, I want to make it in all colors. It's just so so pretty. It's not a basic and it's super easy to sew. I love this color so much. This is my test version but super wearable of the Embrace Sports Bra. I use scraps to make this one and I have a matching skirt actually I already had. I have the color block front option here and I really love everything about it. I did raise the armholes by about an inch and I'm really happy with the armhole cover right there. I'm happy with the neckline depth. That sweet heart type of seam on the front is really pretty. The armholes are strengthened with clear elastic on the inside and it's super nice and it's a really comfortable bra. On the front I have three layers, the main layer, the power net and the lining and at the back I just have two layers. Neckline is finished with binding. I do have the under bust option for my version and I'm so glad it turned out wearable. I really love it. This is my second embrace bra. This time I did the simple front, no color blocking. The armhole cover, it's really really nice and comfy and I'm really happy with the feet. I do have the under bust start. I really enjoyed this one because I have plans to wear other garments on top with the same fabric. The clear elastic does really keep the armhole in place without gaping. It's a really easy technique to sew and just flip under. And the neckline is finished with binding. There you can see my darts. I do have some small foam bra cups inside and I think the band is super comfortable. The waistband that you see there is from one of my flare leggings in blue. I think it goes well with all the colors in this colorful bra. And yeah, it's just the happiest bra I have. It's so cool. I can't wait to wear it a lot. And all these colors make me super happy. This is my test garment for the Havana Kami. I have the bust darts there. This is a neat and to get them sort of semi right I had to make the neckline a lot lower and make the straps at the back a lot longer than they're supposed to be. I've got my colorful embrace bra underneath and that covers up all that area on the back that would be too exposed otherwise. It's always worth making a test garment because I was able to make fitting adjustments to get the darts in the correct place and also the neckline in the correct place. This is my Havana Kami. I made it in an athletic knit not a woven and I've got my embrace bra underneath with the same fabric. I did lower the bust start by one inch but I actually added length above the bust start to get everything correctly placed for me. I love this cami. It's super colorful and happy. I've got it over my flare leggings in blue also by Green Style. And at the back I have the racer back option. You'll be able to see that detail up closer. The narrow straps there are from the cami and the wider straps you see on the back are the embrace sports bra. Same fabric. I've got a really nice cover and at the back 
You can see the difference as well, the racer back and the straps from the bra. I think it looks really cool on the back. I love the layered look there with the same fabric. Here is a closer look at the binding of the cami and the bra underneath. I think it's really nice. I love how it looks at the back as well. It looks like I've got so many straps. <laughs> and I love the feet of this cami. I think the feet on the side is really smooth. Those bust studs, they help a lot. Even in knits, a bust stud can really help. And this pattern for woven can sure work in a knit. I just used one size less. Here is my Zakopane top from Easter to Stitch that I made for summer. I went rogue and made it sleeveless. It's not an official option. You do have short sleeves though and I've paired it with my purple upland trousers from Each to Stitch and some green accessories just to give it some color. I really like the length of this top. Oh, this one looks a little bit more fitted than the sweater knit and it's just because it's a different type of knit. This one's got a little bit more spandex. I think the depth of this V is perfect for me. It's deep enough but I'm not actually showing anything and the sleeveless armhole is good. It's basically the same armhole. I just raised it by about 3 eighths of an inch and put some binding on it. This is a size 14 full bust option and then blend it out to a 16 at the hips. Here is a closer look at the neckline and the binding. I really love this. I couldn't really help making myself a summer version that I can wear right now with my arms fresh. That's how I like it <laughs> and I love it with pants. You'll see it with a skirt next. This is a cool midi skirt that I have with stripe play. I think it's gonna match any color top and the purple goes perfect with it. I feel really good with this outfit. The skirt has a bit more volume so the fitted Zakopane top gives it a bit of balance and I love the look here, really relaxed, casual but a bit dressed up also because that's my jam. I think this can go a long way in my wardrobe. Really love it. This is my latest Rhapsody and I made it using an ITY knit. I love the print. I think it's really cute. This is a color scheme I would wear every day. I have all the original features of the Rhapsody and I made mine sleeveless. This is an extra large with a regular bust option. I didn't size down because it's a knit and you'll see the details up closer. There you can see that the hem looks straighter. The original hem is curved and I've done it curved with my woven versions. I've made so many woven versions. This is my second knit version and I love how flow how lightweight and the amount of ease that you have with a design like this. The neckline is really pretty, it's got the gathers there on the shoulders, I've got the binding, everything as per the original Rhapsody, the yoke at the back has a pleat and it's just so pretty. There you can see the gathers, I do have a double yoke, all the burrito method, the ties there tied up. I did a different binding technique to achieve that V that only works with lightweight fabrics like ITY, you can see how to do that on my channel and I just love it, I just love it so much. It took barely any fabric at all. It was only a small amount I had left from another project and I'm happy to have my newest favorite Rhapsody all made up in a neat, stretchy, fresh, cool. What's not to love? This is my Amador top from Each to Stitch. It's for neat fabrics and mine is a size 14 full bust blended into a 12 waist and then out to a 16 hip. I used a stripey rayon spandex that has the same stretch horizontally and vertically and that's why I was able to place some of these pieces in different directions. The dormant sleeve is three quarter length and up closer you can see more details. You can see the seam goes right under the bust right there and you also have a seam at the back. I think the feet is really good. I like the overall length of the top. The V neckline has the correct depth. It's a V that's super easy to sew so don't worry about that. And that seam under the bust and that shape I think is really unique and really pretty. At the back it's just simple, it's just a simple round neckline and you can see the bodice seam at the back is hitting the correct length of my body. A little closer look at that little seam. It's not hard to sew. I think it's personal preference where you want it to hit. I wanted that seam right under my bust cup and that's why I shortened my bodice by a little bit. I think this is a really cool top. Being three quarters is great for in between weather and I love this black, white and grey little number. This is my first Lennox version. This is a top. I used an athletic knit. Mine is a size extra large with a regular bust option and my top is one inch longer. I still like the length, it's a mid hip length and it's a fairly fitted design. I have it paired here with one of my Cebu collection pencil skirt. I love the fit, goes in at the waist, goes out at the hips. I think it's a great fit all around. Got the square neckline option, you can also do a sweetheart. And at the back it's simple, it's just a back cut on the fold. The neck bands are super easy to sew and the princess seams that come from the shoulders as well. All these seams are top stitched and that was a appropriate for this athletic knit which is a little bit more structured and I've got a regular short sleeve. There are other sleeve options. I think with all the options you can get a lot of good use out of this pattern and you'll see it next paired with a matching skirt. 
with the same fabric I'd made a skirt and a jacket other brands but I had just enough for this top and if I pair these I'm all matchy matchy and from far away it just looks like I'm wearing a dress but I'm actually wearing a two-piece matchy matchy outfit I think the two styles go together this fitted type of top will go over anything I think and I'm happy I have this alternative it'll be super easy to just get dressed pairing these two up and grab some shoes and a handbag and I'm set to go I don't have to worry about matching or styling as such this is my Monroe top from Style Act Patterns it's a fully bias cut garment it's sleeveless in its original design and I've used a poly satin that looks so much like silk you would never know it's not silk I did lengthen my top by two inches otherwise it would have been too short the way the garment is sewn is fully lined so up here you can see that there are two layers here so it's like sewing two garments that means that it takes quite a lot of fabric for such a simple short top like this that doesn't even have sleeves here you can see the cow neckline I think the drape is beautiful and I think the way it drapes is the lowest I would be happy to wear I'm still not showing anything and I think the armhole cover is really good to get really stable armholes there are a few steps involved that are extra but I think it's worth it I think everything is good there's nothing gaping and sewing a bias cut garment is time consuming <laughs> there are lots of things to take into account but I think the result is so nice so drapey so flowy and I'm really happy with this one and I figured out a way to get the same look and not use that much fabric I love this here is the same Monroe top and I love it paired with this green skirt I made a few days ago the Takoro skirt from Itch to Stitch. I think it's perfect pairing in style and the colors and I'm glad I have this skirt to go with this top because when I made it initially I didn't really think I had much to go with it other than black but I think this green works really really well. I think the A-line shape of this skirt works really well. Well it works well for a lot of styles but this bias cut style I think is perfect for this type of skirt and I love the look here. Here is my Lennox crop top. You can see it's got a little band at the waist. This is the same bodice that you would use to make the dress options. It's just that you add that little hem band there. And it's shorter, but it's not super cropped. I'm not showing anything. I've got it paired here with my glissando skirt I've made recently. Black and white skirt goes with any color on top. And I love the blue pairing here. I could wear jackets on top or just wear this on its own. Really love the length because it's not that cropped really cute little top and I really love it. This is the first lotus top that I made. This is sizing up one size to a 2XL and I also added three inches of length to the original length. I wanted this look, I wanted it oversized, I wanted it super wide, I wanted it super long because this is a workout top and it's an athletic knee, it's blue, it's the same on both sides so I did the simple twist. I'm not going to be wearing this top for anything other than working out. I like the extra room, I want air going through the sleeves, through the bottom, and I want it to fully cover my bottom over my leggings. This is how I feel the most comfortable. And I've added a lot of details to this one, like the neck band that I added on and the armbands. I did the same with the yoke with all the little micro pleats or pin tucks. Lots of fun. It was a lot of work, but I think it's really cool. And I like to look nice when I go to the gym. And I think this is a really nice top that's so different to any other top I have. And this one is sort of simple, but it has a little bit extra. I love that. Here's another way I would wear my extra long, extra roomy lotus top and I've got some denim look jeggings I've also got sneakers here and a crossbody bag this is also very casual it wouldn't be to go to the gym but I would go for a very long walk outside for exercise I'd be super comfortable and this is just another way that doesn't involve leggings but is also for working out This is my second lotus top. This is the actual size I should sew according to my measurements. It's an extra large. This one's one and a half inches longer than the original length. And it's the same athletic knit you saw with the blue, only this one's red. I've added a few details here that you'll see up close up. I like this length. This is still roomy. There's still some ease, but not so oversized as the other one. And it's still a workout top. I'm still wearing leggings. I really like the contrast houndstooth athletic knit scrap that I found. And I have the same fabric for the neckband and the armbands. And I cut my own back piece there. Just some simple color blocking. Add seam allowance and add those pieces. I really like this red top. I think it's only a workout top. Because you can really tell this is workout fabric. I wouldn't want to dress this up. I really love it. I think it's a really awesome workout top. This is the same Lotus workout top. Similar type of jeggings as you saw before. Straight leg, they're not super tight, but they're super comfy. I also have black sneakers here and just a little bag. 
this is at leisure i'd go on a very long walk in this little outfit and feel really good i think i'm gonna keep these two versions of the lotus really really casual and i'm very happy with that This lotus top is one size smaller than I should make it, so sizing down one size. This is a size large and it's one and a half inches shorter than the original. So they keep getting shorter and smaller and I like the closer fit for a style that I would wear over a skirt like the Lennox skirt I've got here. I've made my stripes vertical on the front. You can see there's a bit of a chevron going on in the center front seam, I love it. I really like this length and this look for a more dressed up version of the lotus. I love this rib knee, it's so soft and I had a lot of fun matching up the stripes and just creating the look i think it's really cool i've got an extra neck band added on here i also added my armbands and this is my version of a stripey top i don't have many of them and i'm glad i have one now especially in black and white because it's going to go over any colorful bottom that i might have and i love how it looks with my long lennox skirt here is my stripey lotus top with wide leg pants i think this looks really good whenever i wear something wide like the maxi skirt you saw before and these wide leg pants i would like to have a closer fitting top that's why i size down for this one it's a rib knit so it has a lot of stretch and it looks good and the shorter length is also appropriate for wider type of bottoms i love it i love this classic black and white it's so good i'm gonna really enjoy this top and when i was cutting it out i could just imagine how the twist would affect the look of the stripe and I think it's really cool. I'm very happy with this make. I would want to size down if I want a top that I want to dress up for sure. I would leave a fit with more ease for more casual working out tops. This is my summer Juliet top. It's sleeveless. I made it with this really pretty athletic knit. It has some details. You see I have a yoke on the front and the back. Looks like it's another fabric but it's actually the same fabric. This is a nice easy to wear loose top. Nice amount of ease at the waist and the hips. Mine is one inch longer than the original pattern just because I'm a little taller and I've paired it here with leggings. I would be happy to go to the gym and work out in this. I'd be super comfy. Mine is a size extra large with the regular bust option here you can see the rounded front yoke and it's got some details i opted to do the fake button placket and the pin tucks i've got binding on my sleeveless armhole and neckline and i have an extra back yoke i added i just added that seam and i used the same type of fabric as the front yoke the binding was easy to do the fake placket also i think the pin tucks they look really nice i have three pin tucks on each of the sides and this is so lovely it's so nice to wear i wish you could feel the fabric it's just so soft wicking it's just perfect for hot weather and i'd be happy to work out in this and then you'll see i will be happy to dress this top up as well because it's not so in your face that it's a workout top it can be more than that and i love that so here it is with black linen pants and some nice comfortable shoes a little handbag and i'm actually standing out in the rain i'm getting wet a little bit as i filmed this for you <laughs> it just started raining i'll be happy to just go out in this top and use it like a regular top this is not too dressed up but it's not a workout type of outfit at all and this top is going to serve me so well i love this print and over any pants or skirt i can have a really nice top so happy i found this special fabric where i can have the contrast yoke and the extra yoke at the back while it being the same fabric because it's the same fabric it was on the selvage i love finding fabrics like that it just makes the sewing a lot more creative and a lot more fun this is my first Santorini top from Itch to Stitch. I have a 14 bust and waist blended out to a 16 hip and I've used a linen rayon blend that's got a lot of stripes and I love it with my red skirt here. This is my Quebec skirt from Itch to Stitch. Design lines are very very unique and I think the shaping here is marvelous. Princess seams that come from the neckline and you can see that the print distorts a little bit so that's what I like about the stripes here because it lets you show off the design lines. Even though this is a print there is a button placket on the left side it's functional but only decorative you can get in and out through the head i think the shaping on the back is very good and also the shaping around the bust there are cup sizes here mine is a c cup and you can see how well this princess seams fits i love how the stripes get distorted there i made sure to mirror them so that the distortion is the same on both sides up closer you can see the neckline is underneath the clavicle and the seam of the princess seam starts from the neckline it's very unique very 
very well fitting and on the back you also have those princess seams that start from the neckline finish inside is with an all-in-one facing a burrito method clean sleeveless finish red is one of the colors i can wear with this top and i love it red is one of my faves here is my stripy top again this time with black pants just regular black linen pants and red shoes there are only three colors i can use to match up with this top and i have three options which is great <laughs> this is just a very casual look i could be dressed up like this all day and i love the pairing with the black pants i think this is classic you can't go wrong pairing this to a black bottom could have also been a black skirt and i just love the fit of this top i think it's great and it can work with any style of bottom in my opinion and here we have white bottoms i bought these jeans i wish i could make them but i can't find the correct type of white denim so i just beat the bullet and bought these jeans i really love them and they really go with the white in there because the stripes have white i'd be super careful with this outfit and just wear it to somewhere where i know i'll just be there for a tiny little while i find white really difficult to manage and to keep white so even though i love this look and i love how fresh it looks for hotter weather it's an outfit i would really plan and think about where i'm going and if i'm gonna get dirty or not <laughs> This is my second Santorini top from Itch to Stitch. This is my first Santorini top from Itch to Stitch. I have a 14 bust and waist blended out to a 16 hip. This time really simple navy. I really wanted a nice fitting top in this color. Here I've got it paired with my Mountain View jeans. It's got all the seam lines but in this case I omitted the placket on the left side and just sewed the side seam as normal. So it's a much more simplified version of the top. It's the exact same fit, the same length, everything. This one has a neckline that's one inch lower than the original i modified the facing to match that as well but otherwise the technique and the all-in-one facing inside finish is all the same i think with the solid you can also really see the beautiful princess seams here and the feet with the solid i think you can always show off the design lines and i love this top it's so nice yeah i wish i had time to make more in solid colors because it's gonna go with everything here are my white jeans again i think navy and white is always so nice <laughs> i've got navy i've just paired it with a tie tiny silk scarf just to give the outfit something extra to not make it look so basic again with the white pants i would really have to know where i'm going and somewhere very clean because i'd be super super worried about staining the white pants love the navy and white look i think it's so pretty and it was about time i got myself some white bottoms now i want a white skirt but love it love this look like this a little bit dressed up but not that much you know I've had these printed linen pants for a couple of months and I never had the right navy top to pair with them. You see the navy here is the same tone because these pants are tropical and I'll be out there. I know I want to pair the outfit down with a darker color on top and this navy Santorini top is perfect. Love it. I'm all in linen. I'm all fresh. I feel great in this type of fabric. Here is my upcycled cadence top made from a linen dress that was tiny. I have a button placket on the back otherwise it's the original cadence. I've got it paired over my stretch denim glissando skirt it's actually two inches shorter than the original it hits the mid hip for me on the sides you can see the split hem and the button detail on the back that was original from the skirt scoop neckline is so nice as always finished with bias tape i've got the original chest pocket from the dress i just took it out of the original dress and put it here and you can see my sleeve is composed of a few pieces there just to get the width that I needed. I've got a little button tab there that's very nice. My bastard as always fits very beautiful. I love the fit here. I think the fit on the side is super smooth and that's due to the shaping of the bastard. This is an extra large with a regular bust option and I'm just so happy with this. My original dress cost next to nothing. 100% linen, beautiful. This is a neutral color. I'll be able to wear this in many ways and I love the experience of upcycling this. This Cadence top has a really neutral color which I'm very lacking in my wardrobe so I love it that I can pair this with my new white jeans. I think this style is going to work over many colors, white one of them. And I have a whole box of linen shirts that I've deconstructed where the cadence would be perfect to make different styles. The feeling of getting a new garment out of something really old is amazing and the quality of the fabric is there. This is my cheeky cadence top made out of a Liverpool knit. It's quite a structured knit, sort of a heavy knit. That's why I thought it was okay to use a neat because the cadence is for wovens all i've changed here is the neckline finish i have the same bust starts this one is actually three inches shorter than the original and i omitted the split hem i just have a normal side seam i do have the center back seam with the shaping because i wanted that and the darts are amazing good neckline 
The sleeve is so nice, so comfortable. You can move around so well in this knit. And the scoop neckline here is finished with leather look jersey binding that is stitched in the ditch. So you can't really see any stitching. I think it's a really neat finish. That bust out there is gold and you can't really see the distortion that much. And it makes for a really smooth side fit there. Love it. Again, paired over my denim glissando skirt, which is a workhorse. And I just love this top so much. It's like an elevated t-shirt for me just because it fits so well. I've got the white jeans back. I actually bought a pre-loved dress and deconstructed it to make this cadence top. It's just because I like the fabric so much. I couldn't find anything similar in the fabric shops. <laughs> this top is black and white, so of course I could style it over something white. This mid-hip length is good for me, I think. I wouldn't want it any longer or any shorter. And it's just another way I can wear this and feel like I'm not wearing a regular t-shirt. That's great. <laughs> I really love the feet of this cadence. Here is my first pre-pleated skirt that I made shorter from a pre-loved ready to wear. It, this is not the original midi length. It's quite a lot shorter, sort of below the knee, which is the longest skirt I would ever wear. More sort of an autumn outfit, comfy, comfy yoga waistband keeps it up. And I've got it paired with my cadence top in the knee. I think this is really nice. All I'm lacking here is a jacket. Cadence top in a knee is gonna serve me so well for both winter and for summer. And I'm so happy I get to have a skirt like this that I really Really wanted to have in the length that I really wanted to have and because my cadence top is black and white I think it goes great with the green skirt too. Sling back block heels and this is a great autumn outfit for me. For those who wanted to see me in a longer length this is it. This is my latest Aria, number eight, fresh out of the sewing machine. I really wanted a striped one and it's not the typical striped shirt that you'd see that's usually navy and white. This is a bit more bold, three colors here. You can't see a seam going across the bottom hem and that's because I've done it by hand. I just like doing that with stripes. I think it takes the garment up a notch. I have a few things that are simplified like the button placket. I just made an extension here so that it's folded towards the inside and it's not a separate piece that's sewn on. And I did that just to make the stripes situation a little easier and a bit more streamlined just easier to match them <laughs> simple staples underneath i think is always going to be good and this is very bold and this could be the main piece in this outfit i decided to just sew one chest pocket and, and i placed the stripes going horizontally i was very careful with the top stitching short sleeves no cuff i simplified it in that way as well i just extended the hem allowance folded it up and did it by hand so that you can't see it i've got the all-in-one collar there with the stand very very nice there's a nice amount of ease right here. I have a contrast black yoke in there to save fabric. I still have plenty of this fabric left. The yoke at the back has horizontal stripes so that it contrasts the vertical everywhere else. The next look is super similar. I just replaced the duet trousers for my maxi skirt with a slit on one of the legs. This is real life. I'm at a doctor's office in a little corner just filming quietly with my iPhone. At this point I have zero embarrassment about doing this. You see some creases there from being in the car you know it's that's real life and here you can see it over my black mini dress again just simple sandals really comfy outfit love the red bag and I had planned to style this with my white jeans as well but if you look at the side of the screen it's pouring the floor was wet and I just didn't want to stain my pants so that didn't happen <laughs> but I love this look I love the stripes I have so much more of this fabric so Expect to see it again in other garments. This is my ninth Aria, fresh out of the sewing machine. Here I've got it paired with my brown linen hello shorts from Sinclair Patterns. The origin of this fabric is from another shirt that I thrifted. I love it. It's the same fit and size as all the others. I've added slits on the sides just as something different. And this is a cotton sea sucker. Love it. I've got my bust out there for a great fit. I reused the pockets from the shirt and picked them and sewed them in the correct positioning here. And I have the banded collar option. I was able to cut out from the yoke piece of the original shirt. Lovely inverted box pleat at the back. I love the stripes. It's so pretty. I'd always wanted to have a shirt like this. And managing this type of fabric was really, really easy. It was really enjoyable. And the next look is similar with my other Hello shorts from Sinclair Patterns, only this time in pink. And I love the color combination here. This time I have it open and I have a navy cami underneath, navy sandals and a navy little bag. And I love this outfit, it's super summery. I think the pink adds something different and a little vibrant to the look, which is totally me. I know I'm gonna really love wearing this. Mainly open, I think. I've got the navy cami tucked in under the shorts so you can sort of see a little bit of a waist in there. But I could wear it out as well and I love, I love it. it. 
the feel of this fabric is amazing and the length of these shorts make them really wearable for whatever they're not too short and the pink the white and the blue i think looks really cool the next two looks are very similar i've got them got my csaka shirt over my glissando skirt this is a staple i wear this skirt all the time and i've just got a really comfy look here with beige and white sneakers and a matching handbag this is a pretty casual outfit and I could walk around all day and be a tourist somewhere, something like that. And the next look is super similar. All I'm changing is the footwear and the bag. I'm keeping the navy cami underneath. I'm keeping it worn open. Some shoes that are actually a type of orthopedic shoes. They're really comfortable. You can walk around all day in them. Cap toe, beige with navy on the tip, which is really cool. I was so happy to find them in navy because I have similar in black. And I just have a really simple beige handbag. So this is still casual, but just a little dressed up. And it's just got to do with the change of shoes and handbag. And I think this type of shirt in stripes will allow you to do that. Just do whatever you want with the styling and it's always going to look good. I've pulled out my fitted ponty navy dress. I've got some caramel sling back pointy shoes with a block heel and a matching bag and a little scarf and feel like I've made an effort and dressed it up a little bit. I think it is totally possible with this Siisaka. Love it, I, I can't tell you how much I love it. Here is my Indra top from Sinclair Patterns. This is a size 16 with a tall file. I've got my off-white jeans that match the print here on this top. There are lots of length options. I like this mid-hip length. I have used this type of athletic knit before and this was a little leftover I had just enough for this top and I love the look. It's like an elevated t-shirt because of the neckline you can see up closer. I am all about asymmetry. The construction method here was really fun. All of that neckline is stabilized with elastic inside and a bit of knit interfacings. You do need some precautions for this to lay nice and flat and not gape. I really love it. It's got a facing inside that's been top stitched. It was a really fun technique and different to the typical knit sewing that you do and I have a short sleeve here it fits really well there's enough ease it's really comfortable you can do it sleeveless or do other lengths for the sleeve and I have the asymmetric back option as well really really nice I love it paired with a lighter colorway on my bottoms but I know I have more options in my wardrobe with darker bottoms so you see other styling options next here's my Indra top again this time with a pair of knit shorts also by Sinclair patterns they like shorter culottes they're just one wider type of short with a pair of sneakers that are my skin tone really comf casual outfit that I could be super comfortable in but feel really good because I know this top has an extra special detail that the neckline that doesn't make it so so basic I think this print is just there to catch everyone's attention and I'm not against that <laughs> I really love this print so so nice here I am dressed up again in a little pencil skirt with a flounce this is a self-drafted pattern and I made this skirt years ago and happily go to church like this and feel fine I wouldn't feel like I'm too casual <laughs> and again it's just great I like the ease it's fitted at the bust but then it skims over the waist and hips it's just the most perfect comfortable knit top to wear now the last look is casual as well black linen pants very classic trousers cap toe heels and this could be another semi-casual outfit as well. With the type of print, there's not many colors I can pair on the bottom, but I think the off-white and the black are a good choice and give me lots of styling options here. All the types of occasions I can want, I'd be happy to wear my Indra top and I really love how it turned out. After styling my Indra top with off-white pants and black bottoms, I have the classic denim skirt that will go with everything. Denim skirts tend to be quite boring, but if you pair it with a wild top like this, it just makes the outfit much more interesting it's just that tone of blue in denim it just matches everything the indra top here is no exception and it makes it also casual i have really really comfy shoes and i'd be so so comfortable all day this is my second reynolds this time it's a top it's a little longer than the original length here and i've got my sleigh all day skirt i think the colors pair together and i needed a light color to go over the skirt i like this high hip length for a fitted design like this and you can see in the center i have the pin tuck details i added that with an extra panel the hem looks slightly longer on the back that was just me using the most of my fabric i might actually go ahead and make the back a little shorter to match the front i did keep the original button placket from the shirt I used it at the back and i love the details on the front the square neckline 
I added some pin tucks on the straps as well, you see that up closer, finished neatly with facings inside and the button placket at the back is not functional, it's just decorative, the facing closes it up. There's my thick strap that covers any bra, I've got the same pin tuck details I have in the center of the top. I really love that and I think refashioning brings out these creative ideas where I just want to use up every single bit of the fabric. I really love it. It's the only top I have in this type of tone of color. The fabric is a linen cotton blend. It's lovely, lovely to wear. It's so beautiful and I really enjoyed making it. This is my first Chasing Butterflies top from Pattern Emporium. I sized down one size, so this is a size 16. There is a shorter length version and a longer one. I have a middle one here and I have a half sleeve with a little cut you'll see the details up closer love this dramatic bat wing i think it's really nice this athletic knit is super cool to wear for in between weather the zebra print is just amazing <laughs> look at this bat wing style it's so good it's so easy to sew and so comfortable to wear and I think a drapey fabric is go always going to look really nice. I've got a lower relaxed neckline with a neckband, you can make it higher. There you can see the little cuffs and I can happily fly away in my batwing top. There is my neckband up closer, super easy to sew, I didn't top stitch mine and I've just got it paired with a classic denim skirt here, very comfortable look and I just feel really amazing in this batwing top. <laughs> You'll see it styled many many ways. This is a sleigh all day skirt from Pattern Emporium and I've got some really old combat boots that are super comfy to wear. I think the combat boots dresses the outfit down a little so I'm not that dressed up and the top is just great. As you see these looks you'll see that different styles of silhouettes in your bottoms can work with this so this is a more fitted type of style and I think it works really well with the bat wing. Even though the top has a lot of ease around the bust and waist it's not really slouchy at the hips where it matters. I think it works. Here is my top with my sporty lounge skirt in stretch velvet. I really love the curved hem of this one, this comfy pocket. This skirt is a little less formal than others and I really love that curved hem that shows a little bit of the leg on the side. I've got comfy block sandals. I don't believe in uncomfortable shoes so anything you see me wear is something I could walk around for hours. This type of skirt is not too fitted nor loose. It's just right. It's pull up very comfortable and it goes really well with this style. This one's a little different. I've got super wide leg pants. These are pretty heavy knit fabric but they are still very drapey and just to make it a little different I've got gold accessories, golden loafers and a little crossbody bag just to bring some light into the outfit not make it so basic black and white and you can see the silhouette of the bat wing top works really well with this type of wide leg pant. I love metallic accessories you know gold and silver just nice I don't wear jewelry so this is the way I get metallics into my outfit. This exact outfit is one I would wear on a plane. I'd be super comfortable and feel like I don't look too sloppy. Great traveling outfit in my opinion for a plane. Here is a bold look with my other body lounge skirt. This is a stretch suede in burgundy. It always looks red on screen. Any color bottom is going to go with this white and black zebra top and I think this looks really nice, really put together but also super comfortable. I put these looks together in like 30 seconds and I would actually wear this out exactly like this. I never put together fake looks that I wouldn't actually wear. Combination of colors makes me really happy. Also matches the flowers behind me so that's nice. Another type of bottom here is a fitted pant. These aren't skinny pants, they're just straight leg. They have a slit on the side. If you look closely, I have zebra sneakers. They might seem a little too much, but not for me. I feel really fun in this outfit. You can see that a fitted silhouette on the bottom is also going to work with the top and yeah. I can just wear all the styles you want and I think it would look amazing. <laughs> and here's the final look for this top. Now I've got a pair of shorts. My sandals have a comfy heel and they match the color of my skin perfect and it, those types of shoes are always a safe bet. These are sort of shorter culottes. They look like a skirt but they are shorts and they reach right above the knee. It's a good length for me because of my height. I don't think I could wear shorter shorts than this. After filming this I actually kept this on for the whole rest of the day because it was pretty warm today so I was actually wearing this today for my life. This is my first Donny top from Friday Pattern Company. I added three inches to the length. I think the original length was too cropped for me. I used a linen rayon blend in blue. I think from far away it looks like denim but it's not and I love blue with blue with blue. <laughs> Everything I'm wearing here. This is my glissando skirt from Love Notions. I also did a full bust adjustment. I have a buster and it does help with the feet on the side to get less drag lines. These are boxy-ish designs. Slightly curved hem. 
and I'm really happy with this length. I think it's what I feel most comfortable in. Up closer you'll see that it's got a really lovely lapel and collar but it doesn't have the button down feature. It's got short sleeves that are super comfortable and at the back you have a yoke. This like gathering under the yoke. I always like that in a shirt. There you can see my bust that generated with a full bust adjustment, patch pockets. The technique to do this camp collar and facing is really easy. There is a center front seam and the facing inside is top stitched down and it was a really enjoyable project. Next I've paired it with my Ikaria pants from each to stitch, super flowy pants in navy. I love combining different tones of blue together and I've got snake print leather accessories here. Because this top is not so long, I think I could pull it off with wide leg pants. Here it is tucked in so you can see the details of the pants, although I would never wear it tucked in. This shirt is a little bit more structured and that's why I wouldn't tuck it in. I just feel the bulk of the fabric inside the waistband. So just wearing it loose I think is okay. And I don't follow all the fashion rules you see everywhere. I, I prefer to be comfortable and I'm really happy with the look here. I couldn't ignore my new Allegro pants made out of white denim, thrifted jeans I deconstructed to make new and the blue and white looks really nice together. These are more slim fit pants, still comfortable and pull up and the combination of the blue and white is just so fresh and so summery. I've also got my snake print leather accessories here that I think give the outfit a bit of interest. I really love the style of the shirt with these pants. My new white harmony blouse is really hard to film but you get the gist. I think white with denim always looks really nice. I love this little detail of the fake button placket on the front. I think it adds something special. I didn't just want to make a basic white top I wanted something there and I think that gives it all the detail that I want it was super easy to do you can see how to do that on my channel I'm just really loving the feel of this fabric wearing white is something very foreign for me but the style of this blouse is just so wearable and so comfortable I know that's gonna motivate me to wear more white ever since I made these really bold summer key pants last year I knew I wanted to have a white top to pair with I've only been using navy so far the print is just so bright I wouldn't wear red on top I think that would just be too much I've done a half tuck on the side just because the pants are wide and so is the top so just to give it a little bit more balance there this outfit it feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing it's just so light on my skin and so fresh I love the sensation so having another option with white on the top is really good and yeah, it's a bit much, right? All white here, <laughs> everything's white, except for the sandals, those are gold leather. And I have my white Allegro pants that I just made a few days ago, all in white. <laughs> Let's see if I have the courage to step out of the house without the fear of getting dirty. This is my Nosara shirt from each to stitch in red. Mine is a size 14 with a C cup blended to a 16 at the hips. Mine is three quarters of an inch longer than the original length and I have a really fun stripy fabric in a linen rayon blend. The red skirt is a Quebec skirt also from each to stitch for an all red look. I really like the shape of the curved hem as you can see there it's shorter on the sides, curves longer. There's also a dolman sleeve and that's the side profile where the hem is slightly shorter than the back. Depending on your height this will cover your bottom or almost all of it or completely. <laughs> and I did my hems by hand just for a delicate finish and I don't really like sewing through stripes. Up on the top we have a classic collar and collar stand which I did contrasting stripes for as well and I really love the look of that. Dolman sleeves are always easy to sew. The hem is normal, just folded in, I did that by hand as well. I'm trying to show you how close this dolman sleeve is so there's no way you're gonna see through the sides. At the back there's a yoke that involves all of the back and I have a contrasting stripe there. Here's a closer look at my collar and collar stand. The technique is very doable, you'll be able to do it for sure. It's my preferred way of doing it. I'll never close it up all the way up to the top so I didn't do a button hole there and the seam of the yoke actually is on the shoulder it's not offset over to the front and I have one patch pocket there and a side buster for my C cup that gives it a really good fit I'm super happy with this shirt it's so lovely and you'll see it styled in other ways this is the more traditional look at least all closed up and paired in red I am just so happy in red and I love this shirt it's so so pretty and it fits amazingly I pulled out my stretched denim bootcut type jeans and they're white so it's a great color for the bottom. I only have red and white in this print and I've got some 
red high heel sandals there and this is a really nice look if I want to wear the shirt closed. I really love the length of this one over a type of fitted pant like this and I'm really happy with the look here. I think it's really fresh for summer and because I have a different contrast between the top and the bottom you can see the curved hem shape a lot better I think than when I had it paired over the red skirt. So there you go you can see it. That hand hem is so smooth and so nice I never regret the time it takes to do it by hand because it just looks so pretty. I think white and red is so nice at least for me I know everyone's colors are different but I think these suit me really well and I feel amazing in this color combo here Here's the exact same look but a bit pared down. I have sandals that are just a low heel and I have a white cami underneath where I can wear the shirt open like a little light layer. A more casual type of bag. It, in essence, it's almost the same thing. I don't have many alternatives for styling but this is one that's a little more casual where I wouldn't feel like I'm too dressed up and it's great. Opened as a light layer is always great and having all white underneath is amazing. Here is a Nosara styled again, just loosely like a layer on top of all black. My black Mountain View pull-on jeans with a black cami underneath or open, same column of color underneath. With this on top, I think is amazing. The shirt here is the hero piece of the outfit and I absolutely love it. I think the stripes are really striking and the color red as well. I think red and black is also a pretty strong look. There's a lot of contrast here because of my hair color and my skin color, all of that. I think this is a type of combination that really suits me and I feel really Really good in and I really love it like this and then the last look is sort of the same colors but a different style I've pulled out a pair of pull-on shorts that are wider it looks sort of like a skirt with the same black cami and very very wearable low heel sandals and this is something I'd be super comfortable to walk around all day in and feel really fresh the layer on top is everything I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one because anyone can wear a basic black or white outfit and just put something that's really striking on top and I think this is what the shirt accomplishes. I really love everything about it from the length to the curved hem to the dolman sleeve and don't be afraid of the collar and collar stand. It's super doable. You can do it and you can also have an amazing shirt like this. The cuff sizes in this one are sort of the golden features as well. It fits amazingly. You can't see the darts there but the fit is just so much improved because of them and I love that. This is one of my Sophia tops. I made this one to be a summer version. It's a lightweight knit ITY. A little hard to work with, but worth it. I have a lower neckline with a bow option and I made this one sleeveless. I like this mid hip length. I shortened it from the original length a little. Really love this for hot weather. I paired it with one of my self-drafted pencil skirts with a little flounce that just works with everything. Nothing special with the hem, just with a twin needle. A little bit of ease but not that much but just enough, just right I think. There's a little modesty panel underneath the tie which gives you a nice cover at the chest. I'm not showing anything, I'm very comfortable. With this, I would rather just leave it like that. It just looks more relaxed, but in essence, you could do a bow right here. The tie on the neckline at the back raises it a little bit. I think it looks not a neckline that's gonna take half an hour to sew. Very worth it because it's just so different. And especially for a neat top like this, you don't really see designs like this and I really like it. Love the colors here. I love that it's a snake print, but in not the typical snake colors. Yeah, this is a very unique top and I'm very glad I found the fabric. I think this fabric worked really well for the Sophia Summer version. This time with burgundy bottoms. These ones are ready to wear. I really like the burgundy as a neutral against the tones of pink right here. The shoes and the bag are in the same types of tones and I think this really goes well together. I've brightened up the look here with my white Allegro pants in denim. I don't know why I waited so long to have white pants because they literally go with most things. This print does have white in it, so the white pants go in perfect, keeping everything white, including the really comfy walkable sandals with the bag. These pants are pull up and so, so comfortable. 
And the top is so light and airy, but this outfit is one I would wear all day and feel absolutely amazing. I like the look of it, but the feel of it is great. There's nothing tugging, nothing pulling, nothing tight. It's just, just great. This is my first Declic blouse in size 46, European. I've got a rayon with a Swiss dot detail and a tiny bit of linen in the blend. Two inches shorter than the original length. I've paired it over one of my sky skirts from Sinclair Patterns. This is for neat fabrics and this is a cotton lycra with a denim look. And this skirt, even though it has this beautiful volume at the bottom is fitted at the waist and hips so it doesn't really give you all that bulk like a skirt that has all the volume at the waist would so this is a perfect pairing for me really really fun outfit love dressing in tones of blue it's one of my favorite colors and this outfit is just so comfortable so fresh Here you can see that this is a nice length for me I wouldn't have wanted this any longer than this perfect to wear with a skirt like this where the volume starts below this at the hip you see it's nice and fitted so it doesn't give you that bulk Perfect. You can see the amount of ease, it's nice and comfortable. Closer look at the neckline, the facing on the front is beautiful, the depth of the V is perfect, I'm not showing anything. And look at this, how gorgeous is this? You can see the opening of this armhole, so it covers more than the sleeveless armhole. A dolman sleeve would be a little longer than this, would have a curve. If you wanted to shorten your pattern an extra inch, and make this even more close, then you could do that for sure. I have a bra that matches my skin tone, so I think it's pretty discreet and no one's ever gonna know it's there. <laughs> Such a beautiful top, I'm so happy I made it. It's a great free pattern. You're missing out if you don't get it. Such a beautiful top, I love this color. The design is so comfortable. This is so easy to wear. These woven tees are just as comfortable as a neat t-shirt in my opinion. I look so much better. Just an elevated tee. I love this so much. That's why I decided to make two more with sleeves. You'll see those afterwards. Now I've swapped my sky skirt for my white denim glissando skirt I made recently. It's a refashion. Blue and white is just so lovely together. I absolutely love it. And I have a fun bag that has some colors there just to liven up the outfit a little bit. So comfortable. I love this for summer. I don't actually know how I was living my life without a white denim skirt before. I just never had one and now I have one and you'll get sick of me using it to style everything from now on, basically everything. <laughs> Here's a color combination that's not the most common that you would see. And I see brown as a neutral. I think brown can go with a lot of colors. These are also a pair of Hello Shorts from Sinclair Patterns I made a little while back. Same time I made the pink ones. I'm trying to tone everything down by keeping the shoes and the bag matching the shorts as well. And then just having the Declic blouse be the only pop of color here. You cannot be uncomfortable in an outfit like this. Linen on the bottom, rayon on the top. It's just fresh city. Next, I've got my plum color Declic blouse. This one has a hack. I've added a short sleeve to the armhole just to make it more versatile. It's a very easy hack that you can do as well. And this plum color goes perfect with the print in this athletic knit from my sky skirt. This is also from Sinclair Patterns. This skirt does have pockets, curved waistband, it's nicely fitted at the waist and hips, and then has this beautiful piece at the bottom without the bulk at the waist. I think it's the perfect type of skirt because then you can wear something loose on top like this, and I love it. When I chose the fabric for this blouse, I was thinking about this skirt because I had trouble pairing things on top other than black, just nothing went with it. I'm so happy with this color combination. Here you can see the neckline, it's all the same details that we already love. We've just added on a short sleeve. It makes it a little more versatile. If you would like a longer sleeve and would like to cover your arms, you can do this very easily and just add on a sleeve to this pattern. It's so easy and I'm glad I did it. And these types of sleeves are easy because you just sew them on the flat one to one. You don't need to ease anything in. It's just so very easy. Now I've swapped my athletic knit sky skirt and brought back the navy one. 
the cotton lycra denim look sky skirt this one is a little simplified because it doesn't have the pockets but it still has all the features it's all the same feet and i've always really enjoyed these combinations of colors navy and plum navy and burgundy I just think navy is such a great base color and i love this so much these looks that i put together for you are exactly how i would walk out the door and i'm always so happy to walk out of my house in my handmade so proud just being happy that i can make clothes exactly like the way i want them to be is just the best now this next outfit might be a little bit out there i've brought out my pink hello shorts this is also a pattern from Sinclair that I made a little while ago. And they're such great fitting shorts, flat front, elasticated back. And I think the tone of pink goes really well with the plum color of the top. I think these tones of colors really go together, complement each other, they make me so happy. I know this type of outfit is not to be on the low. I think people would see you, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that and I really love it with the pink shoes it's just such a fun outfit and I'm just so happy I have a top in this color that's so unusual and it's so hard to find fabrics in these colors at least it is for me here is my black de clique blouse this one's rayon twill it's the same as all the others the only difference is that I've had a full length sleeve to this one super nice for in between weather autumn and winter this is the way to go and I've pulled out my plum color upland trousers from each to stitch anything can go with this but I just pulled these out because they're pretty these trousers are classic straight leg and this type of blouse will go over anything and I love how this looks together. And now that I see these pants, you know, my plum colored top would also go with these and then I'd have a type of monochromatic look. When you're creating this type of detail on a sleeve, you want it to be a little longer so that it blouses over. So if I'd measured my actual sleeve length and had no blousing, it would look very strange. It wouldn't look too nice. So I measured this one to be one and a half inches longer than a regular sleeve would. And I think this looks so pretty, so delicate. Drapey fabric is the best for this type of style. And I absolutely love how this turned out. Same neckline as always, pretty pretty fleets as always with a long sleeve here. I am so happy with this. I was seriously liking a long sleeve black top like this in a woven. So I'm glad I have one and I know I'll be wearing this in many ways. I'm just running out of steam now. Here is my Presto tunic in a brown linen rayon blend. I really love this fabric. This is a size extra large with a full bust option. In general, I have made it shorter and just straightened out the hem. It's a very nice top. It's got lovely details and I've got it over one of my Civil Illusion skirts. This is the one that's fitted at the waist and hips and then has a flounce below the full hip area. A little bit of animal print going on. I think it's a fun outfit. This is a length that I've been using for all of my previous versions and this one as well. Up closer, you can see that I have an overlap vent on the side instead of it being a simple vent. It is functional, I can fully close it up if I want to. There's button holes, but I've just left one done and the other one not. The placket goes all the way down instead of just coming up to here and then having this on the fold. At the top, you can see this banded collar is very pretty. It's nice and close, round, very well sewn in my opinion. <laughs> and not having that seam there made it easier to sew. Shoulder and sleeve fit is really good. It's, everything's where it's supposed to be. Three pin tucks on each side, pressed into the middle here. I've done the hem of the sleeve and the hem at the bottom all by hand, so I don't have any top stitching right there. I always like doing that if I have time. So I can wear it on its own like this. Plenty of ease, really comfortable, or open like a light layer. Here is my Presto worn open over my Glissando bottoms. This is actually the same linen. I made all of these garments from the same fabric, so it's like a matching set. I wouldn't want to wear the shirt closed with the pants. I think it would be too much brown. So I've just broken it up with a red cami underneath. I've always loved red and brown together and very casual, comfortable shoes and an outfit I would be very happy to wear.
This is my Islaris top from East to Stitch. I've got a size 12 with a full bust option, blended to a 14 at the waist and then a 16 at the hip. It's made in a neat fabric, French terry. It's got a really flowery print, very interesting. You'll see the details of the raglan sleeves and square neckline up closer and it's really lovely. I've paired it with my green Taroko skirt because I do have some leaves in the print just to make sure to go away from the Christmas look. I've just brought out some green accessories that are more of a military green. This is the original length of the top. I didn't modify it. You can see it's got a slight curve on the side. You can also see the curve over here. I think the fit at the back is really good. I don't have pulling of fabric. It looks really, really nice and smooth. Love that. In the area where I have mostly red, I did my hem with red thread. And then on the sides where it goes lighter, I changed my color thread so that it doesn't contrast too much. Here is a look at the neckline, including my face and neck, so you can see the proportions. I think it fits really well. It's super neat. I'm very confident I can bend over and I'm not gonna be showing anything. It's not gaping. It's really a good fit for me. This is how it looks on the back. It's also a square neckline on the back, but just higher. Because I'm used to doing facings with wovens and the technique is no different, I found it really easy to achieve the square neckline on a knit. I think if you would have had a neckband with a lot of mitered corners, it could have taken a lot longer and it would have been just a little more difficult to get really precise results. So I'm really happy that there's a facing here. Here is a closer look at the square neckline. It's not high, it's not low, it's just right. You're not gonna be showing anything. It's finished with a facing and I've used red top stitch because that's the color I mainly have here. I've used a narrow zigzag and it looks really neat, so very good. Of course, I have a print, so you can't really see the seam of the raglan sleeves, but the seam is right here on each corner. That's where it starts, and then it goes underneath there. I have a short seam. It could be long as well if you wanted, or three quarters. Options on the sleeve piece. And one thing that's gonna be super discreet here is the bust art. So there is a bust art right there on the full bust option. The standard bust option won't have it. And what I like about the bust art being there is that it gives you a super smooth finish over here. No diagonal drag lines, nothing like that. It always works really well for me if the option is there. So I'm very happy with this bust art. I think the fit on here is amazing. I'm very happy I saved this fabric for such a long time because I think it suits this design perfectly. It's a heavier fabric, it's not heavy, it's medium weight. I wouldn't have wanted to make a top that was really loose and boxy with this material and the fact that this style is semi-fitted, has bastards, you know, you have shaping at the waist, I think it's perfect for this fabric. And I think the print is really unique as well. I really love how this Islaris top turned out. It's so pretty. This time I've got my Islaris with my red Quebec skirt, also from East to Stitch. Of course, there's a lot of red roses in the print. So the red is a pretty safe bet for me and I love wearing this red skirt, it served me so well. And it's just a really happy look, this one. <laughs> I've toned it down a little by using beige shoes and a beige bag to not make it so, so colorful. I think the top isn't that fitted that I can't wear a sort of more straight skirt as well. So I'm very happy with this. You can see that the top is not hugging, hugging the hips, although there's not much space. It's not super tight like that. If there was zero ease on this top, I wouldn't wear a fitted skirt like this. But I think it's got the right balance right here. Here you can really see the little curved hem. It's not too extreme. It's just very slight, very pretty, I think. Another look with a lot of red that makes me really happy. I think the two styles work really well together and I can't wait to wear this out. Exactly like this, all flowery with a red skirt. And I'm just so happy with the way this top fits. That basta is golden for me. I really love that basta. It does great wonders for the shaping on the side, at least for my body, it makes a huge difference. Here is the second version of the Be Mine balloon sleeve blouse from Pattern Emporium that I made. This time it's a solid, it's pink, rayon linen blend an amazing drape. The details are so lovely and of course with a solid, you can really see them a lot more than with a print. I think the pink goes with any type of bottom that is a neutral tone. So these gray palazzo pants in a print, I think match really well. And I love the combination of these tones of colors. The white pants are fitted at the waist and hips and they just go wider on the leg. So I don't feel this is too boxy and I'd be happy to wear my top just out like this, loose. I'm not one to tuck. That's what you would usually do with wide leg pants, but I'm not gonna do that. And I feel this is a great pairing and super comfortable. My size for Pattern Emporium is an 18 currently, 
but for this one I made a size 16 just for a little bit of a closer fit which is what I prefer here you can see the ease this is the tall length so there is another cut line that's a little shorter this is the perfect length for me right at the mid hip and there's still a nice amount of ease here even though I did size down to a size 16 one size less than mine simple hem no facing which is an option here is how this looks it's so pretty higher in the front lower in the back all gathered into the binding very pretty love that these are my palazzo pants also from pattern emporium made in an ity knit very comfortable they have pockets as well one of the patterns that's also on sale for this pattern release here's a closer look at how this looks on the top in relation to my face and my neck you can see that the mid scoop lies perfect this is the perfect depth for me i wouldn't want it any lower or any higher so i think having three options there is great the facing is really neat it all looks very nice the sleeve fit of the shoulder is very comfortable and that's how it looks on the back i have the center back seam but i closed it all the way up here's a look at the facing a little closer some top stitching it's a thread that is very close to the color of the blouse with a solid fabric like this you can really see top stitching that's why i decided to do the center front seam that is also top stitched it's so pretty so delicate it feels so soft amazing on i have the regular bust front option there are two other front options that are dotted for larger bust cup sizes i love that i can wear it with any style of bottom whether it's a wide leg or a slim fit i think this blouse is striking enough to draw the attention to it first rather than see what type of bottom it is i love how this pink looks with the gray tones in the print of the palazzo pants it's a great match and I feel really, really good and really comfortable. Here is a look I would wear to church very happily. <laughs> this time paired with my sporty lounge skirt in stretch velvet, which makes it look a little bit more dressy. And it's also a pattern that's on sale for this release. Black and pink, you can't go wrong. This is a very easy combination to do. Sporty lounge skirt, I love that curved hem right there. So pretty. All I've done here is swap the skirt. This time it's a long skirt instead of the short one you just saw. This is the coastal side split skirt, also from Pattern Emporium in a woven. It's a rayon linen blend, love it. It's black and white, very subtle print. Goes perfect with the pink as well. This one has a little slit here on the side and it's very lovely to wear, very, very fresh, very floaty. And it pairs perfectly with this type of blouse. Here is a more casual look with a pencil skirt made out of scuba. It's got a fun print. One of the colors in here is a tone of pink, so I thought it was the perfect fun little bottom to match with this amazing blouse. Sneakers, very comfortable look for a day that I'm going to be walking a lot. Beautiful details of the blouse just make the outfit not so dressed down, if you know what I mean, and I love this look. Here is my gorgeous Be Mine blouse, again, with a different type of color combination, not the typical one that you'd see. I view brown as a neutral, of course, and I think it pairs very well with pink. These are crop pants, very comfortable to wear, made in linen. I've got some heels and a brown bag just to tie it all up, and I think this is a great look for me. I would be very happy to wear this out. I really enjoy brown with red, but I really think the brown and the pink looks even better. Here's my fabulous first version of the Be Mine Balloon Sleeve blouse from Pattern Emporium. This is a size 16, one size down from my actual size, and this is a poly crepe, very lightweight, very soft on the skin. It's not transparent at all, which is great. I've got it paired here with my sporty lounge skirt in velvet, which is one of the patterns on sale. This is a look I would be happy to wear to church, and I'd feel pretty dressed up like I usually do. I'm happy I went with a longer length on the blouse because this is exactly like the way I would want it. I wouldn't want it any shorter than this. Simple hem here, the fabric is fairly lightweight. I don't think it would have benefited from having the facing option. I think that's more for linen, for cotton, something a little more structured. Look at this gorgeous sleeve, it's so perfect. It's not full length, it's about three quarter length. You could make it slightly shorter if you wanted, but I think this is just right, just perfect. Look how it hangs on the back here, sort of blouses. 
and it's all gathered into that narrow binding there. I feel pretty fabulous with this type of sleeve. It's very, very nice. And this print is, yeah, this print is everything. I really love it. This is how it looks up on the top near my face. It's very nice. I like this depth of a neckline. It's perfect for me. At the back, I have the center back seam, but I closed it all the way up. I don't have the option of slit and button up there because you don't need that to put it over your head. And that would actually get caught up in my curly hair and it would be a detail that would never be seen because I always wear my hair down. Neckline is the mid scoop with a facing, it's all top stitch very neatly and the sleeve fit, it's all very very nice, good mobility. With this one I don't have the center front seam which is an option, I don't think it would have benefited here. I didn't want to break up the print in the front although I do have a center back seam, that's fine. I always knew I wanted to make a print version and a solid version and I have so many options, it was really hard to choose. But I think this one is gorgeous and it highlights the details nicely. It got everything that I love. <laughs> I'm really getting into a bit of animal print right now and the fact that it's red and black it's got me written all over it and I love it love how this turned out it's absolutely gorgeous I might actually combust into flames right now with the maxi skirt and the boots but this is an outfit I would wear when the weather gets cooler it's like a hundred Fahrenheit right now but I just wanted to show you this look <laughs> this is a sleigh all day black skirt that I have in a stretch velvet with a long slit. I really love it. Slimmer style skirt, but I think the ease of the blouse is appropriate. All the details on the top are great for this type of bottom with boots. Love it like this. This time my blouse is paired with some shorts. These are the getaway shorts, also from Pattern Emporium in a dark red linen. They're super comfortable, they have lovely details. A great way to be fresh with the legs out. Love wearing shorts. And this is actually appropriate for the climate I have right now. The getaway is also a pattern that's included in this pattern release. I recently made some red cargo pants in linen and I could not keep them away from this blouse because they just go perfect. There's a lot of red going on here and I know some people couldn't do this but I am one that will. <laughs> I've been wearing red since I was very small and I don't feel self-conscious. I know that I feel great in this color, so I do wear it a lot. And I think this goes together really well because these cargo pants aren't too wide and they fit well at the waist and hip. The blousiness of the sleeves and the amount of room and the type of fit of the blouse, I think go perfect, same as the length. Here I've got my new cadence top, it's a tank, it's well fitting, the same one I've made like 15 times already. I've got it paired with my Lago Cargos in red linen, love this look. This is why I wanted to have a print in these tones to match with both the red pants and the blue pants you're going to see later. I've got linen binding on the armholes and neckline because there's a bit of navy in the print. I wanted to bring that out there. I really do contrast binding. I have to feel some type of way, but I think it works really well here. Of course, I have the Coda jacket I made in the same linen as these Lago Cargos. Fully red outfit with a print underneath. I think it looks really, really pretty. This is my navy noon top, it's an embroidered knit that looks like broderie anglaise, but it's not. I've got a three quarter length version. I don't have hem bands or cuffs, I've hemmed normally. I've used the shortest length available here, size 16. Blended out to an 18 at the hips, just because I wanted a little bit more ease there. And this is a version that has the solid front and back, meaning there's no extra yoke piece at the front. Still got the beautiful pleated sleeves, and I've got it paired with one of my Sky skirts, also from Sinclair Patterns. Love the look a little bit of pink just to liven it up a bit very casual here and very comfortable the original design has about one inch of ease at the hips so with blending to a larger size now I have about two which I think is the bare minimum I want for my personal preference so I'm really happy I went out one size at the hips just to have a bit more space here here's a look up higher I really like the depth of this neckline it's not too low it's not too high I think it's perfect this is the lower neckline option, so don't worry, it will never be too low. <laughs> Here's where you can see the details up closer. <laughs> you can see all the holes in my embroidery. I think the shoulder fit is good. You can see that's where the sleeve starts, right at my shoulder actually. So it's not dropped or oversized. This is the lower neckline option here. I really like it. The pleats are beautiful. And here is where we get this angle right here. 
that's where the yolk would be different there and it would make it have one less corner because you have a corner here and a corner there with this option and the same at the back very comfortable I really really enjoyed putting all of this together that's how the back pleat look I thoroughly enjoyed the sewing process here it was different the design is unique I'm very happy I have this top I know in navy it's gonna be a staple for me I'm gonna really enjoy wearing this one for a long time to come here I've got my navy noon top with my Lennox skirt this is a maxi skirt part of a dress from I love notions pattern I love it in blue I love that slit I love different tones of blue bright blue with a navy I think it looks amazing and I've got some really nice walkable sandals with a silk scarf and I'm set to go I love this look I'm gonna fold up these sleeves I think I will end up chopping them off above the elbow just so I have an option for when it's really really hot as well I'm realizing this now that I'm outside and it's really really hot <laughs> Here's my navy blue top with my print poppy pants. These poppy pants, poppy pants have a navy background with a tropical print on top. It's a more subdued tropical print, the colors aren't too bright. And I can only really pair this with navy tops, different styles. So I'm glad I have another alternative here and I really love how this looks together. Now, this is the first version I made. This is a rayon spandex. It's not a fabric I would fully recommend. I think it's way too light to hold up the features. If you do have experience working with a fabric, it could work, just note that it's just going to feel looser and a little different to the other versions this one's slightly longer that's why the others are a little shorter because I prefer them a little shorter fabric is not my favorite that's why I used it for a test garment although it's growing on me I'm not a fan of the orange but I love that tone of deep green there so yeah this one's pretty wild I know it's not for everyone it's pretty hard to style I have these green poppy pants that go really well there and I've sewn the notched cuff version there and instead of just wearing it all the way down, I can fold it up as well. Or just wear it all the way down, extending the length of the sleeve. I think that notch detail on the woven cuff is really unique and I love adding that. Of course, I use the same fabric there that I used for the placket and the collar. Not my favorite out of the four, but definitely wearable when I'm feeling in an orange mood i suppose i sort of confirmed that the fit was okay for me so it was not a waste of time to make one with a fabric that is not my absolute favorite you know this is one of my frankie tops the same size everything the total length here is an inch shorter than the original just because it's my preference and i have blue accents here on the placket the collar and also on the short sleeve hem you can see up closer that it's fairly close fitting at the hips but those vents on the side allow that to open up and for this to fit nicely without it looking too fitted so that's nice <laughs> this is the length that i like at the mid hip and on the top you can see that i have a collar that you would usually find in ready to wear polo shirt i recycled it from one of my son's old t-shirts so that's where i got the collar from but all the rest i sewed in and i think it's really nice i love the combination of colors here that are mainly navy and red tiny white detail on the collar i think makes this top really special and i did cover the seam allowance of the collar there with some bias tape you can see how to do that on my channel and on the hem of the short sleeve I added that little bit of blue knit underneath. I think that looks really nice, it's something special and something I was inspired to recreate from my son's original t-shirt. Love this one, I love it with a skirt and some sandals with heels. I think this is sporty but still a little bit dressed up, just a little bit and I love that. Here is the same top, this time a little more sporty with a white denim skirt. I use the glissando skirt pattern for this one and I have some cool navy sneakers, a casual bag and this is casual me. Love the combination of colors. I look like a lot of flags. I know a lot of countries have this type of combination of colors. It's a classic combination of colors and I can totally see why so many flags use it because it's very pretty. This is my second version of the Selma top from Sinclair Patterns. Same size 16 in the tall file. Shortest length available, this time it's sleeveless in a purple athletic knit. I really love it over these black and white poppy pants and I'm always reaching out for these. These are linen pants, really versatile. The black and the white pants go with any color top. And this time I've done the square neckline. All the other details of the top are the same. The pleats, the ease, the length, it's all the same. It's just a different neckline that you'll see up closer in a sec.
Here is a square neck line up closer. You can see that it's just corners that you saw here. This is the outer neckline that's interfaced. Inside is another one that's not interfaced. And it's super stable, super neat, flat, no gaping. I love that this particular one can be used for lounging, working out, dressing it up, dressing it down. And that's why I love using these athletic knits so much because it's a fabric that can take you a long way. It's nice and matte, it's not shiny, it's wicking, it's fresh to wear. It doesn't wrinkle, you can travel with it. So that's why you probably see me make a lot of things out of athletic knits, even though my purpose might not just be for working out in this one. I think that style would totally be fine over a pair of leggings. And I absolutely love it in this particular outfit here with the black and white. It's so cute, it's just very much my jam. Here is a really casual look for my summer Selma top. I pulled out my white denim skirt. This makes it really wearable. Only two colors, very simple, very comfortable walkable sandals. I do feel really put together though I'm quite casual and I love that. Again, I love the feel of the top. I think it's gonna be super wearable. I'm gonna be reaching for it all the time because of how comfortable it is and how pretty it is. Those pleats are everything. I love patterns that have the option of making them in different fabrics so you can make winter versions and summer versions so versatile it's just the best thing because i'm in summer and i would always want to make something i want to wear right now <laughs> I made a point to sit here with these beautiful flowers behind me. The best lighting of the day to capture the beauty of my mom's garden. It's just so gorgeous out here. Hope you enjoy the sights. <laughs> it's really nice having different places to film and I really hope you're enjoying the end of the year roundup content. I've worked the whole year to be able to create it for you. So yeah, come back. <laughs> Episode three and four are still pending. They will all be up before the end of the year. See you soon, bye.